bit, was a bit scared there, Tracy, until you, until you clarified that for me, because I'm an immigrant. <laughs> Thanks for that. And I hope you'll all celebrate with me on Friday when Scotland declares its independence from the Empire. Uh, there'll be a whiskey down the road at the Auckland Irish Society. Come and join us. Uh, these are my two passions one, colonialism and the effect it has on indigenous people, which is why I joined the Mana Movement. I think it's shocking the amount of poverty that Maori people suffer in this land of, of plenty. And uh, that is a crime. And that's why I joined the Mana Movement. Uh, but I'm also a trade unionist as well, with the Unite Union, because it's not just Maori and Pacifica that are suffering poverty, it's many Taoiwi, Pakiha, Asian and Indian workers too. And I organise all the fast foods, uh, and many of the um, restaurants up and down Dominion Road, and I'll tell you there's a lot of poverty in this city. Not just low wages, but people don't have enough hours to work on per week. Yeah. They don't have enough hours and they're insecure labour. And that's where... Uh, we need a new legislation that actually guarantees a worker a guaranteed amount of hours when they sign on for a job. Um, so that's my two passions. Um, it's nice that everybody's uh, friendly here and they all work together in committees and stuff. My experience in New Zealand sometimes is not being so nice for the people at the bottom. I've been out and protesting uh, with the people in Glenings, good people hard-working people, working-class people who have been evicted from their houses and have been moved off that land. If anyone saw the documentary on Mary TV, you'll have seen Betty there, you'll have seen some of my friends who have been living in those houses. Those houses were built for heroes, those houses were built for people who went and fought fascism, who survived the depression, and all that generation wanted were the basic things. I had a place to live, a well-paid job, and free education. And all these parties have stolen those from with the exception of some, but the major ones they had. Most of these politicians had free education when they went to university. All these children here will start with a mortgage if they go to university. We believe in free education for all. Uh, we believe in free housing for all. These were the dreams that Labour used to have when they were a socialist party, when Mickey Joe Savage came and changed this country. And I tell you what, New Zealand was skint during the thirties. But they spent their way out of it, 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 depression then. And those are the kind of big ideas that we need in politics. Because largely in New Zealand there is consensus around this economic system. We'll have some small uh, changes here and there, but basically we won't change the system. I come from another um, tradition entirely. My, my uh, inspiration is not um, politicians and political parties, but social movements of people. Like the Occupy movement that, that, that asked, why is there just 1% of the population controlling 40 or 50% of our wealth in every country, not just in New Zealand? And the vast majority of us, the 99%, um, are, are, are actually going backwards. Our generations are getting poor. Uh, and we have now a class of people in New Zealand called the working poor. They're not feckless, they're not on benefits, as these people would claim. These are people who are working, who can't pay the bills. Um, and that is wrong. That's why we need living wages, um, but not just given to us from high, we need strong trade unions as well, with the right to strike, with the right to do these things for ourselves, not just from on high. So that's why um, I'm very active in the trade union movement. So these are the things that MANA stands for. Um, free housing for all, free education, tertiary education for all, living wages, but how are we going to fund all this? I'll give you an honest answer, and my, my act part is probably back in here. Um, we're going to tax the rich. We're going to tax them until they squeak, because that's the other thing that's wrong. It's us who pays the taxes in this country. We're working people, we have no choice. It comes straight out of your pay packet, right? My fast food workers pay 28% tax. They tell me, Joe, can you reduce the tax the next time you're in negotiation with McDonald's? And they go, sorry, it's the government that's doing that to you. And John Key pays 2.8% in tax. That's wrong. That is wrong right there. Let's tax the rich until they squeak and spend the money on building housing and giving free education for all. Is that the time? Is that the time?